Hello everyone and I welcome you to this video on the new resume formatting feature that is launched by Recruiter Flow. Now in this video we will help you explore how this feature works and how it can help you streamline your recruitment process. Now in order to create a resume template you need to go to your settings and then click on document settings and over here you'll get an option for formatted resume. Now in order to create a new template you can simply click on create template. Now you land on this page. This is where you select what options or what data information do you want the resume to have. So if you want the resume to have a header, you can simply check this button and over here you can, you know, simply upload your logo of your company and some other on your company name. If you want to, if you want to have a footer, you can enable this and you'll also get a footer in the bottom of the resume. Now, apart from this, if you want to add any other text in the resume you can just drag and drop this and enter the text right here now it could look something like this and uh, again if you want to have an experience uh, to be you know picked up by the system you can simply drag the experience column and drop it here so the system will automatically pick up the experience from the candidates profile the same goes for education as well you can simply drag and drop it and you can also arrange it according to your preference right here now, if you want to add any watermark to your resume, just to give it a professional touch, you'll get an option for it right here. You can simply type in the message that you would like to show in the resume. And uh, now this could, you know, act as a cover letter and it can also act as a resume. Now, if you want to add the candidate's original resume as well to this particular format, you can check this button and then you'll get to see a lot of information here. Now, this is where you need to select which information from the candidate's profile do you not want to share. So what I mean by that is basically if I check email and phone number, so the system will pick up all the other details from the candidate's resume, but it will not pick up the email and the phone number. Now, once that is done, you can then click on update and the system will then update the particular uh, format. Once you do this, you can come to document settings and you will, you know, get to see the template right here. Now, how do you use it is you basically go to a candidate's profile. So for this example, I'll select this candidate. You go to the files section and then you can open the candidates resume. So this is how the resume looks like for the candidate. Now I'll click on go back. Now in front of that resume, I need to click on the three dots and then click on create formatted resume. You can then select the template from the drop down and the system will start generating the resume according to the template that you have created. Now, once that is done, you will see that the system has now picked up all the information that you had uh, mentioned in the template. And this is how it looks like now in the resume as well. The system will not pick up any email ID of the contact uh, of the candidate and also none of the email or uh, phone number will be picked up. Now, once this is done, you can click on continue and the resume will then will be stored right here. Now the use case for this is basically whenever you are submitting a candidate to a client, uh, you know, when you click on submit to client, you get an option to, you know, also send a resume with the candidates profile. Now over here, you can select which resume do you want to send to the client. Now I'll just uncheck all the other uh, resume and then I'll click on send email. So in this way, I will not share any personal information about the candidate to the client unless and until it is necessary. Uh, so this is one of the use case. Now we also have a public link, which you can then, you know, also share with the candidate, uh, with the client. Now over here as well, if you don't want the system to show the formatted resume in this particular uh, public link, you can simply go to files. You can click on the three dots and you can make the file internal. Once you do this, you will notice that the system will not show it in the public profile link as well. Uh, yeah, so I hope this video helps you out. Thank you.